One thing we recently started using to raise and lower our stabilizers is a drill with a socket. Uh, this speed things up a little bit um, while you're hitching and unhitching. We don't like to um, put the slide out out or back in until the stabilizers are down. Um, so a lot of times if we're unhitching, um, we get done inside and we, we put the slide out in and then we need to raise the stabilizers while we could be hitching the vehicle. So usually there's three people waiting for one person uh, you know, to raise the uh, stabilizers. So this speeds up that process um, and makes it more enjoyable as well. I will link to the socket we're using uh, in the description, uh, but basically to lower it, to make it tight, to keep it stable, you'll uh, put the drill in the tightening position. So it'll go to the right. I usually try to start out slow at the beginning in case you're in the wrong direction just so that you don't tighten it too much in either direction. Um, in some drills you can even uh, adjust the, um, how much pressure it'll give it so that you can't go too far. Um, but you just pretty much want to go snug. Um, if, you start, if the drill starts turning, um, you know you've gone too far. And then to raise it back up, you just put it in the reverse position. I just think of you're loosening it uh, so it's not stable anymore. And then you just go in opposite direction. So we knew other campers were using these. Um, we didn't have a big need for it. You do need to remember to keep your batteries charged. So I would still keep the manual tool with you just uh, in case you get in the bind. Um, I hope this helps. I hope you take advantage of this. Um, we've really enjoyed using it. Happy camping and thanks for watching.